Hi, I'm Tony Fleming and welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Anyway, thanks for joining us on today's video. Uh, Colin's making me laugh. I don't know why he's just seeming very funny today because he thinks he's very funny today. Well, we are being serious, serious because this right here is collector car material. You say to yourself, well, Tone, it's a Camaro. It's a beautiful Camaro. How do you know it's collector car? Absolutely great question. I want to tell you a little bit about that and I'm going to tell you why I feel, in my opinion, that this is a collector car. First off, this is a what we call a frame off restoration in the sense that this is a unibody car. A lot of people don't know this, but this has a subframe, so it has a front frame, and then the rest of the frame is sandwiched in between the body. So really, like a Mustang, a Mustang cannot be a frame off restoration. It can be a rotisserie restoration because you don't take the frame apart from the body because it's sandwiched inside the body, all right? So underneath here, all of the cars taken apart, new bolts, fasteners, suspension pieces, uh, uh, leaf springs, rear end, transmission, engine, not to mention all of that, but the fact of the matter is this is the way the car was born from the factory circa 1969. Now you're kind of getting the idea of why this car is special. The color, so if you walked into the dealership circa 1969 and you met me, slick Willie car salesman, hey, how you doing, huh? Right, you'd walk up, you'd check out your cool Camaro, the guy would say, this is for sale, and you'd go, wow, that's a beautiful car, I would love to have it, if only if it had a four speed. Huh, funny you should ask that question. It's got a four speed, really, it's got a four speed? If it had the 396, I would definitely be interested. Oh my gosh. Funny you should say that, it's got the 396 in that. Well, do these come with a 12 bolt? Yes, they do come with a 12 bolt, sir, and this car has that in it as well, and you would be in. So some of the features, you know, a lot of times people say to me, hey, that's a great looking car, but they don't really know why it's a great looking car. Let's talk about some of that. When you're talking about authentic, you're talking about uh, the real Super Sport uh, rims here for the big block cars, got this wheel. The small block Super Sport's got the rally wheel, all right, very much like Chevelle's, uh, the Chevelle big block cars got these, and the other ones did not because they were obviously not uh, Super Sports. The stripe that's on here, the vents on the hood, these are all those styling things that make for a great looking car. This right here makes it nice and authentic. These are period correct Firestone wide ovals. Depending on the plant that was selling, uh, ma manufacturing the car, and depending on the tire allocation was out there, you either got Firestone wide ovals or you got the Goodyear Polyglass GTs. Uh, either one is correct on the car and they just look, look, make the car look so good. All right, so we check out this mirror finish paint right here. Like you can see every single word on there, even more so. Uh, this I wanted to see because the paint is so spectacular. See how you can see every rafter in the ceiling, all of the joists in there, the HVAC controls, even the bolts. There's fabulous, fabulous paint. All right, so let's take a peek under here because if you go into a car show or something like that, you want to be able to show off this because it's special. And the reason why it's special is because it's the engine that came in the car. And you say, well, tell them, don't all cars come that way? No, all cars don't come that way. First off, these are big block cars. They were designed to be what? Driven hard. So a lot of them were blown up. This car here still has the born with drivetrain in it, all right? The engine, so I should say the engine for sure we know because it has the numbers on it, uh, as well as little things that make it a little better looking than others. For instance, GM hoses here, tower clamps, right? 
battery topper, correct decals are in the place, all right? PBT for paint, body, and trim as it went down the assembly line. You can see how new the brakes are. Also, the Caltag over here has the X22 code, which means that this was a started life as a real 396 car. One thing to check for yourselves, just a quick note, if you're ever looking at cars to see if they originally started as 396 cars or not, there's a couple telltale signs. One of them is the fact that the heater core, uh, the water hoses come in here, where on a small block car, they come in over here. I want us to talk about this for a second. First off, we have this beautiful floor. Look at underneath here, uh, the reflection on the floor of how beautiful this car is underneath. The beautiful chambered, I shouldn't say chambered exhaust. It's a custom exhaust, it's the correct exhaust into uh, the dual in, dual out uh, transverse muffler with the 12 bolt rear end hanging down there. It's exactly like it's supposed to be uh, and looks really authentic. And while we're here, uh, we'll take a second and check out the detail. And here we took the trunk mat out just so you could see how nice and deep the ribs are. This is important because a lot of times people put uh, Bondo or filler in here for rusty trunks. They won't replace the trunk. This has been replaced. It's been redone. It's all part of that, including the jacking instructions as well, right? And it works just like it should. Another little telltale feature, you have a big block car versus a small block car, is the satin black painted uh, tail panel here. The dual exhaust, obviously standard on all the Super Sports, but this is the kind of like the, the go-to sign that you got a big block uh, that just passed you rowing through the shifting of the gears and making stuff happen. Sorry, I get a little out of control and get a little excited. Come on and join me inside here. If the outside of the car, the underneath of the car is all new, the interior of the car, all new as well. And like, listen to that, man, listen. That somebody spent a lot of time making that door close properly and giving you that solid feeling sound buckets, console with gauges. Don't minimize this console with gauges because the console with gauges is very expensive. This is about a $2,500 upgrade. Well, Tone, I see it in the catalog for this, this, and this. You're right, but you gotta ship it. You gotta include all of the uh, sensors there. You gotta do all the wiring, all that good stuff. It doesn't, really, it doesn't really happen quickly and easily. That's why this is nice to already have it in here. This has the full gauge set up too. So you have the clock in the middle, you have the 7,000 RPM tack, you got your speedometer there. This is beautifully restored and it is a great, great color combination. I'm telling you, man, you ride this down the street in this car working this shifter like this and it is just fabulous. Watching the engine rise and fall, rise and fall on the tack there. Uh, you are for sure going to have some fun. All right, so we close up the video talking about authentic mirror finish forest green metallic paint, right? Matching numbers engine. We got a four speed in here, 12 volt posi. We got nice codes underneath the hoods, nicely detailed. The underneath is spectacular, right? This is the way to buy a classic car. Let someone else restore it. Let them spend all the money to do that. Let them enjoy it for a little bit and you get the benefits of all of their hard work and labor for a lot less than you do it on your own and you could be driving it this weekend. Anyway, call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you all about this real deal Super Sport 396 four speed. Don't forget to leave us some comments too. We'd like to hear what you say. Tell me a little bit about the favorite Camaro that you had, or maybe you rode in one that you love, or give us some feedback on what makes a Camaro such a great Camaro. All right, don't forget to click on the link below, and it'll take you to pics and a video and information about this car.